Day Houston. Okay, so what happens when you take the life of a hip-hop legend, turn it into a stage play with one of America's best playwrights and a cast of award-winning singers? Well, you have something that's really G double O D from Snoop D O double G. With me today is Snoop Doggy Dog. Bow wow wow, you be yo, you be a. Welcome to Great Day. Also joining us is Tamar Braxton and Jacarius Johnson. Good morning. How are you? What a breakfast jam. Yes, yes. All right. Okay, I gotta ask you the first question is how did you get that uh, name Snoop Dogg? When I was a kid, I used to watch a show called, uh, I think it was The Peanuts or Charlie Brown. Uh -huh. And it was a character on it that I used to really be fascinated with. And my mother said I watched him so much that I started to look like him, so she started to call me Snoopy. <laughs> that was my name. My mother used to call me Snoopy, and all my friends called me Snoopy, and it, it just stuck with me, and then it went from Snoopy to Snoop Rock Ski to Snoop Doggy Dog to Snoop Dogg. To Snizzle Dizzle and everything and else. all right? the yeah, in between. Yeah, yeah. All right, Tony, you came from a musical family. It's from the get-go. Tamar. Ta okay. Tony. Yeah, Tony, look at what the hair. You look the hair. like or the hair. You're right, you cut your hair. Yeah, Tamar, you came from a musical family. Yes. And all of you, from the beginning, that, that kind of was in your DNA, wasn't it? Yes, it was. We all started singing when we were very, very young. I actually wrote my first song on the Kamol. You on the Kamol, I did. <laughs> and then all of my sisters came in and we started harmonizing, and that's when my parents knew that we could all sing. Yeah, yeah. 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 And Jakaris, I met you, gosh, probably 15, 18 years yeah, ago now. Yeah, a long now. time ago. And I remember you saying, you go, yeah, you know, I'm going to produce some stage plays. I'm going to have some really great names and stuff. And we were like, okay, you go do that. And you have been doing that ever Pro since. Promise <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> and what's cool about when you have your talent is that you can put it in different places. Right. Obviously, we knew you as, you know, doing the rap part, but now you're combining it with the acting part. Yes, yes. How has that been in, on a stage play? Um, it's been fun. It's been actually um, a great journey for me because I'm able to look at myself in a different perspective and do things that are challenging for me. You know, I've done a lot of things that were easy for me. This is a little bit challenging, and I love the challenge, so I'm up for it, and hopefully that y'all will come see the show. While we in the Houston era, yeah. you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. I can't see any challenge in any of this. Like he's a natural. He's so good. It's just his thing. Oh my God, he's so good. Like he's, well, he's put it, so good. Put it, put, it, put it like this. On the first day of rehearsal, he came in and knew everything. Tamar was like, uh-uh, I'm going to the next room and learn my stuff. This is great. <laughs> it is. It's so good. Yeah. And, and Tamar. Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> And for you, it's kind of cool, too, because there's music and singing, and so yes. you have part of that on stage. Yeah. But then the acting part is a little bit different. It is a little bit different. It's been a while since I've done any type of acting. Um, but uh, I'm not going to lie, Jakarius and uh, along with Snoop, like, they've made it so comfortable for me because it's such a great environment, and it's such a great piece. Yeah. Yeah. And so that helps when you have an amazing, amazing script. And uh, Jakari has really, really went all the way out. So. And, and that script yeah. is in everybody's wheelhouse. And that's what kind of makes yeah. it like, like really, I think, work extra. Yeah. So give folks uh, the lay of the land of, of what this particular production is about. It's about the man right here, yeah. Snoop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and, what, and what made you think? Uh, how would you come up so, with So uh, I met Snoop at uh, my last place, Set It Off. We were in L.A. And we met right away. And he was like, I have this idea because he has, uh, has hip-hop, but he also has a gospel album mm -hmm. and so it was about how do we deal with the journey from kind of gangster rapper to man of faith and how do you combine it where we can reach all people and so uh, we sat down we collaborated and, and went over it and I, th I think we came up with a masterpiece yes, I, I'm yeah. very very proud of this play. And I kind of love like how you go from like you, one direction to the other direction. It's like, yeah, the world can be chaotic and a Absolutely. mess, and at the same time, we can all be saved, right? Yes, Thank right. God we have right. a forgiving God. Absolutely. <laughs> we all need a little redemption, right? We all need a little redemption. All right. So uh, how's it been when you put all these personalities together? Did you two know each other before? We've met each other along the way a lot of times, um, but it's never been this close proximity. Right. right. But uh, I, I would have waited forever just to have this experience because yeah. it's it's so worth it, and he's so amazing, and he's like my big brother, and it's like he's the greatest ever. He's so kind-hearted and giving and smart yeah. and um, talented, you know? So, I mean... Well, Tamar is like <laughs> the sister I never had. I never had a sister. I grew up around all boys, so this is like a great experience for me because we got the same spirit. We, yeah. We love to clown around. We love to be the life of the party. So to have somebody that get down like I get down is fun because usually I'm the only one who's with having so much fun, but she come in ready to have fun. We be clowning and messing around. <laughs> and it makes the job that much yes. more fun when you can build a brother and a sisterhood 
based off of working and based off of the love that you have for each other's craft. Yeah, yeah. and Jacarius, you need to roll tape on all that stuff <laughs> behind the scenes. That's like, <laughs> yeah. that's like the that's, second production, it right? It is, that's and it's one going on. That's, that's, a, that's a whole lot of fun. And these these two guys, um, you know, coming from the music world where they work as individuals, you know, coming into a team sport, I'm just so so proud of them. They're doing an awesome job, and I can't wait for Houston to see them. Yeah. yeah. And Redemption of a Dog. All right. Uh, when it comes to to rap music, it, it's funny because you'll have people who'll say, "I don't think I like that. I don't like the rap." I mean, and then all of a sudden he starts playing and they're like, they're the ones in their car going, bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. Yeah. <laughs> and you see you at the stoplight and they're like getting with it. Because it's one of those things that just, it makes you move, right? And then later you start thinking and you start hearing some of the lyrics. And then you start and see what the, what the words mean. Right. The funny part, too, about the lyrics, though, is that everybody kind of knows their one hook, and that's when everybody jumps in real quick. Right. Kind of like the Negro National Anthem. We're like, you know, <laughs> well, looking at the boys and sing, and all of a sudden it's like, eh, yeah. Eh, 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 eh. yeah. Okay, so uh, we're going to play a little game here because uh, we actually have one of our, our staff members who is a big fan of yours. He's a, a Snoop Dogg up and coming fan? Snoop Dogg fan. You uh -oh, are his hello. role model. Hello, that's he right. is up and coming. Steven. Steven, how about you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Steve, I like your hair game, baby. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. so Steve, like, what, what do you want to say to Snoop Dogg? What kind of, you know, Man, advice or uh, whatever? This is going to come as all left wing, but The Wash. And I think that's an underrated comedy that you were in. That every time you come on screen, that was funny. Thank so, you, bro. I appreciate I, that. Yeah, yeah. He okay, well, uh, Steven has done his own kind of rap songs, and so uh, we're going to see who knows each other's rap songs, Ooh. right? <laughs> right? The lyrics, the lyrics, the lyrics. Oh. Okay, like, okay, the first lyrics is this. Oh, oh, I have some music. Thank you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Baby girl want to be grown. She got a Facebook page and a cell phone. Her daddy getting money, her mama on the dole. They're moving too fast, but she really don't know. Is that Snoop Dogg or Stephen Huff? Y'all, who's that? Who's that? Snoop, that? Snoop, Snoop, do you know if those are your words or not? Do you know? I don't you know. know. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna do this. Okay. <laughs> well, that is Snoop, everybody. Hey. <laughs> okay. Let's look at our next lyrics here. Okay. Here we go. Let me go get my beat down here, right? If it ain't focused, I'ma be 65 with a job still, only Nissans and Hondas in a lot field. No, hold, on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hold on, 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 hold on. You can't, you can't yeah. put my stuff down like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. How'd it go down? You do it for us. Here we go. Uh, cut the music real quick. Cut, no, wait, cut yeah. the music. Okay, all right, all right. If it ain't focused, I'm going to be 65. If, oh, if, I, if I ain't focused, focused I'm going to yeah. be at 65 with a job still. Only Nissans and Hondas in the lot field. That's how you're supposed okay, to say it. Okay, that's how you're supposed to say it. Get it together, Nick. Okay, here's the third one here. Okay, here's the third one here. Oh, here comes that same thing. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. <clears throat> May I kick a little something for the G's and make a few ends as I breeze, though. Two in the morning and then the party's still jumping because my mama ain't home. <laughs> Oh, we know what that is. <laughs> it's some yeah. sort of gin and juice. Yeah, gin and juice. Right my there. mama wasn't home. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good game. Uh, and for playing, we're going to uh, go ahead and give you the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give a dog a ball. Yeah, it was an early rap song. And with a nag nag patty, I could give a dog a ball. Can I get the music, please? Give me the music. Give me the music. Yeah. She feel it. It's on her. With a nag nag patty, I give a dog a bone. Yes, there you go. Thank you very much for always you. bringing us really fun stuff. We appreciate you two oh, getting up in the morning. You, and um, and I love the haircut. And I will never you. call you Tony again. But That's okay. <laughs> yeah, we, were, we were talking over there earlier. You said, I don't think I can ever go back. No, I'm never going back. Yeah, right? Because it cut your beauty routine down like that, didn't it? Yeah, it did. But let me, I just wanted to say something yeah. about this play really fast. Yesterday, Snoop said something that was really important. He said that um, this is something that his mother can come to, and something that she can uh, be proud of, and something that she can watch. So this is not a, a play for 20-year-olds, uh, 30-year-olds. It's, right. it's a play for everybody. Everyone well, to come and, 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 and it's not just the persona yeah. of, of who you are. And I think that's what happens so many times in, with the commercialization of everything. Mm -hmm. We have this person and, and they're kind of in this box right here. I, I get a feeling that it's more a full sense of who you are. Well, I ain't never been in the box. I, I look at myself as being on a circle. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you haven't been in the box, but what I'm talking about is how we perceive people. I think they perceive is, me in a yeah. circle because yeah, I do it all. Right. <laughs> okay, can we get the music back again?
Bring it back around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here we go. Gonna go round in circles. Hey. <laughs> Gonna fly high like a bird up hey. in the sky. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys very much. Thank, Thank you, baby. Thank you for waking and baking.